Sports fans all around the area know Ben Kramer. He officiates football, basketball, baseball, and softball games for local high school teams and has already made a name for himself as one of the top officials in the state. But last May, he dealt with a call that none of us would want as his three-year-old daughter became sick. Reagan complained of some stomach pains on, I believe the date was May 21st. Um, I know it was a Monday because I was actually off of work that day to help um, do a little bit of farming with, with, my, with my parents, with my dad and my brother. So he took Reagan to the hospital and they gave her some medicine and sent her home, hoping that would do the trick, but the pain persisted. I can remember coming in that night at around 8.30 and Reagan was over there on the uh, living room floor and she was just curled up in a ball, like in, in the fetal position. And so obviously, you know, we did what anybody would do. We, we took her into, uh, I think, urgent care or the ER, uh, one or the other. And, and to make a long story short, they did um, they did a CAT scan. Sure. and. That's and finally, at about midnight, somewhere between midnight and 1 a.m., all of a sudden, um, our pediatrician pops into the room. And I'm like, you know, and, and it didn't even dawn on me that that something I just said, you know, wow, what are you know, what are what are you doing here? You know, and then I noticed that she she didn't, you know, she didn't have any she didn't have a nice facial expression on her face and she said you know your you know your daughter has you know has has a tumor you can imagine how bad a news that is to to any any parent and i was there with her by myself you know when the doctor said tumor and and, and the first thing you know i asked i said you know is is it cancer and our pediatrician was, and she said, you know, there is a very, very high probability that yes, it's it's cancerous, and um, but she said tumor. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, okay, tumor, let's just go in and let's just take it out, and and and, and you know, and I'm thinking, you know, okay, this is terrible news, but maybe the bright side is maybe we can go in and we can just get this tumor out, and and you know. We can, you know, we, we can, there, there could be, you know, a, a, a solution to this. And then, you know, they immediately, you know, we went down to Dayton Children's. We got down there at about 4 a.m. and they ran tests for an entire week. CT scans, MIBG scans, um, all the blood work you could possibly imagine. But you sang your way through it, didn't you? And they had your birthday party, didn't they? The nurses had a birthday party for you because you turned four in the hospital. But that party at that time was one of the lone bright spots in this family's journey. For those two weeks though, you know, we went from she's got a tumor, and in those two weeks, every time we saw a doctor, the news just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Because by the time they did all the other scans, um, you know, we found out it wasn't just a tumor in her uh, abdominal region. There was a spot by her aorta. There was a spot on her arm. There was a spot on her lung. There was another spot on her stomach. You know, she actually had a lot of spots. And then the final piece of bad news is when they told us it was in her bone marrow. And um, and then that was, that was about, I remember that day, that was about all we could take. Tomorrow we take a look at what happened during the bone marrow transplant and what happened next for Reagan and the Kramers as the Marion local community came behind beating Reagan strong. Mark.